So these are some of the apps for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 5 that you shouldn't miss out in 2023. Starting off with the first app and its worst app. If you haven't installed it already, this app became officially available just a few days back. There's already a video on this channel that shows how to install it. Link for it will be down in description. Anyways, you can send voice messages. You can see images. At the moment, it's in beta program. By the way, you cannot make calls directly from your watch, but you can accept and listen calls on your watch using WhatsApp. This long awaited app is finally here for Wear OS. So try it out. Moving on to the next app, and this is an amazing file manager for your Galaxy Watch. You can send almost any file to your Galaxy Watch. Either it's a PDF, a document, any image, or even a video. The app is available on Google Play Store under the name of TV and Watch Wi-Fi File Manager. Just install this app both on your phone and on your watch. Also make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network for both of these devices. If you still need more information on how to use it, there's a link in description explaining in a step-by-step -step process. Next app that I have was requested by many users and this makes your Galaxy Watch menu like an Apple Watch. By the way, this is a paid app, so keep that thing in mind. After opening the app, it shows all your apps in an Apple Watch menu style and you can even open apps from here. One downside with this app is that it's not a complete replacement of your existing menu. You have to always open VZ Launcher to use this menu. Next on the list, I have a fun game for your Galaxy Watch and this one is present under the name of Cosmos Run. The concept here is pretty simple. You have to just make sure this ball remains on these tiles. With single tab, you have to move this ball. The more far you can go, the higher the score. It's a fun game to kill time, so try it out. Moving on to the next app, and this one is Stay Lit for Wear OS. This one is a bit old, and once again it will cost you a dollar. This basically increases your screen wake up time. By default we have a limit of 1 minute, but you can use this app to increase screen time out to 2, 3, 5 minutes or even unlimited, but that's not recommended due to screen burning. In the end, I have Google Home app that recently got a massive update and now we have a clean interface showing all of our connected devices. You can turn on and off each device, plus you can also control the color temperature just using your smartwatch. You can also try out automations with this app. This new design was recently announced at Google I.O. and now finally this app is available for Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 5 running Wear OS. So these were some apps that you shouldn't miss out for your Samsung Galaxy Watch in 2023. And that was all about for today's episode. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.